Hello everyone, my name is Trey Slate and I'm an NBA basketball trainer. And today we're going to be going over a few different passes that we can do from the pick and roll. Now the first pass we're going to be taking a look at is the pocket pass. So the first thing we need to kind of understand about the pocket pass is where this pass is delivered from. So it's called a pocket pass for a reason. It This pass is delivered from your hip region or your pocket. That's how it kind of gets the name pocket pass. Now the second thing we need to be aware of is kind of what window or gap this pocket pass is going to occur from. Now the pocket pass is going to occur in the gap between our defender here, ball handler's defender, and then the screener's defender here. So it's going to happen between that gap in between those two. It's not necessarily this gap that you see right now. Once I press play, we'll kind of explain and walk through that. So that's the, the second thing you need to know. You need to understand kind of what gap the pass is thrown to. And the third thing is you need to know that when to utilize the pocket pass. I typically, you utilize the pocket pass on a soft coverage on the pick and roll. What the soft coverage refers to is how the screener's defender is playing it. So we have a screener, and this is a screener's defender. Now how, I've, how he's playing this pick and roll kind of determines what type of pass we'll make or deliver to either our roll man here or the uh, surrounding guys around it. So the soft coverage is just uh, where the screener's defender is going to be playing back away kind of from the screen, not trying to give up a layup or any a paint touch or anything kind of associated by the rim around the room. So let's take a look at it and we'll, we'll walk through it. So let's go, I'm gonna start it over. Here we go. Pocket, soft coverage, throwing the pass right between the gap between our defender, screenish defender, waiting for our guy to slip through there, nailing the pass, okay? So that's kind of, here it is a little slower. Skip, sit in that gap, wait for your roller to get there, throwing it right through. That's the quick overview of the pocket pass. Now I want to look at what we're reading on the pocket pass. So this one's a little different. Ginobili, the, the, the key on this is to occupy two people. You want to occupy your defender and then the screener's defender. You want to occupy both of them and then make... The tag man in this scenario, what I mean by the tag man is the guy who's responsible for stopping the, the roller. Okay, so the guy who's guarding the screener isn't necessarily responsible for stopping the roller. He's, he's responsible for stopping the ball, not giving up a layup, until your defender, the ball handler's defender, gets back in front. So you're trying to occupy both of these guys and put pressure on this tag man, the help side guy. And you want him to make the decision to either stay with his right here or stop the roll and then roll into the basket okay so that's your read there you want to make sure you're occupying two people and then you're reading this help side guy here this tag notice the the tag guy doesn't really tag he doesn't go and hit Duncan or stay with Duncan make Ginobili throw this ball back he stays attached Ginobili knows he has two people on him he's gonna throw it right between that gap pocket pass for a layup Boom. Here it is again. Now this is a different scenario. Okay, so notice we don't have a guy in the corner like we did in the previous clip. So now the tag man is going to be the guy in the opposite corner, the furthest pass away. Typically, where the tag or the help comes from, it's either the is typically the furthest pass away because that's the hardest pass to make, and also the ball is traveling in air longer time, which gives the guy who's supposed to stop the roller a chance to go and close out and stop the perimeter shot. So notice he doesn't necessarily stay here. He keeps following his man out. Then he does that one extra step out and that gives Ginobili, he's looking right at him to see what he's doing. Throwing it, gets two to play him, throwing it right through that gap, pocket pass, easy shot. That's it today for the pocket pass. Make sure you're tuned in because there are gonna be more pick and roll passing edits coming soon. I really hope you learned a lot. Thank you guys. See you next time.